Hello YouTube, my name is Miles Anderson. I'm a professional joke explainer, and today I'm explaining the jokes of Christina P, one of the best comedians working today. She's performed for US troops in Afghanistan, South Korea, and Africa. She's a roundtable regular and writer on Chelsea Lately and stars in Showtime stand-up special Live from Amsterdam. Make some noise for Christina Pajutsky. Pajutsky? That's what the piece stands for. Yay! Hi, guys! Hi. Yay! Oh, good. I, um, I just ate, like, four hot dogs uh, before I got here. That's a funny amount of hot dogs to eat. Most people don't eat more than three, and she ate four, which is very funny. Okay, five. I had five. Five. Even funnier. One fell on the ground, and I was like, screw it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Cause I love hot, why when you're eating a hot dog does everybody want to tell you what's inside of them though, right? You got that friend that's like, hey Christina, you know what's in your hot dog. Very funny voice there. Uh, it's always a great, whenever there's an opportunity to do a funny voice of a different person in a story or something, or someone who's uh, an annoying person, just do a really funny voice. It's always a great part of a joke. And then you have to explain, like, look, dude, I don't eat hot dogs because I run marathons. <laughs> I eat hot dogs because, like, I hate myself. I'm just saying. Well, no, you don't see, like, athletes eating hot dogs, right? Like, you don't see that guy. Who's that guy who rides the bicycles with one bean bag? <laughs> yeah, Louis Armstrong. You don't see that guy eating Oscar Myers before a race. Really are a very famous but no, player. I was watching my favorite show before I came over here, a little show on MTV called 16. Okay, so that joke there is about how, I think she's moving on, but that was the hot dog joke, it was about how she ate a lot of hot dogs, which is funny, because um, normally people, uh, they, they imagine, especially women, uh, would not eat as many hot dogs. Uh, but she says she did, which is funny to imagine. Then you've got, um, she says that athletes don't eat hot dogs. You never see athletes eating hot dogs. And then she moves on to the next, the next joke there. So I'm not sure what, the, what tied it all in, but it, maybe it relates to this next joke. And pregnant. <laughs> yeah! Okay, oh she's, she's talking about the TV show 16 and Pregnant now. So that hot dog bit sort of was just more of a conversational piece. This, she's moving to her first joke here uh, about the TV show 16 and Pregnant, which uh, was on the air about 25 years ago. Um, television was something that a lot of people enjoyed between 1949 and 2019, and a lot of people in the world at that time would watch a lot of the same television shows. And so comedians who spend most of their day back then watching TV shows in their hotels uh, would often write material about this, which is super uh, interesting. But is that the best? 16 and pregnant, or as I like to call it, good luck, stupid. <laughs> right, because that is a bad idea, having kids at 16. Because when you think about who you were at 16, right? When I was 16, I was goth. You guys know, you guys know what those are, goth kids? You know those idiots that wear all black? And it's like all the fun of being dead, except nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cries for you. So if I had a kid at 16, I would have named it like Voldemort or something stupid, you know? I don't even know why I bother watching TV. I feel like it just makes you feel bad about yourself. Like okay, so the 16 and pregnant joke there, setting it up, uh, she's saying that when you're, when you're young, you're dumb, and that if she had a kid when she was 16, the punchline is she would have named the kid Voldemort or something dumb. So that's a very funny thing to imagine because that would not be a normal name for a kid. So that's the joke there. Have you guys seen that commercial where the woman with the English accent chastises you about your eyelashes? You seen that where they're like, Here comes the accent. Would you like your eyelashes to be a thousand times longer? Very good British accent, very funny. Would you like your eyelashes to curl back into your forehead? I don't know who that lady is, but I definitely know she's British. 
And then you have to be like, whoa, wait a minute, dude. Like, I don't ever think about my eyelashes. <laughs> right? Unless I'm lighting a cigarette off the stove. <laughs> then you think about them for like six to eight months. But I don't get it. And I don't like those commercials. Okay, so that was the eyelashes lady joke there, the setup being that there was a lady at some point, a British lady who had a commercial and she'd talk about people thinking about their eyelashes and Christina says, I never think about my eyelashes uh, except for the punchline when I'm lighting a cigarette off the stove, which is another funny thing to imagine. So she's establishing a funny character of, oh, I eat a bunch of hot dogs and I light cigarettes off the stove. So she's really just kind of like a fun, kind of trashy character that she's making. So very funny to imagine. Like for skin creams that claim to fight aging. That's the best, right? Fight aging like it's a battle that can be won. <laughs> right? Like, hey, Christina, did you hear who won the war on aging? <laughs> yeah, dude, death. <laughs> death wins. Like. Good yeah, observation. And why do you want to stay young forever? Like, I don't want to be 20 years old again because young people are so stupid. <laughs> they are. They suck. Young people suck. And they look amazing, but they make bad decisions. Okay? And I know this because I have the tramp stamp to prove it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so she eats a bunch of hot dogs, lights cigarettes on the stove. She's got a tramp stamp. What well, a very fun, relatable person. She is very fun character. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, it's of a Chinese dragon. And it symbolizes Jose Cuervo and regret. Not I sure, like sure being who that my is. age. Like, I'm not ashamed. I'm 35 years old. Woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 35 nice, nice and break. I'm married and I love it because I can finally just give up. Just. <laughs> Right? Like, yeah, you bought the cow, sucker. Moo! And I feel confident. Like, my body is just dog crap. But up here... And I was telling my husband, I was like, sweetie, I feel so good at this age. You know, like, I'm so good. I just, I feel like I could really just crush a lot of dudes. You know what I mean? I could just devastate guys. And not that I would, because I'm married, but I feel confident, you know? And you know who's the first one I would do? I would just devastate that Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah, isn't he adorable? Justin's so pretty. He is growing into a lovely Hillary Swank. Great name comedy there. So Justin Bieber is a very famous music comedian. And uh, he and Hillary Swank is uh, an actress that was very successful at that time. So again, name comedy, it's, very, it's a very good thing to do because if people recognize a name, they'll think that's funny because they've recognized it. And if you combine two uh, names like that, it's even, it's twice as funny. Oh, I love him. Yeah, that lady's loving it. I mean, because here's it. the thing, when I was in my 20s, I was too nervous to sleep around. You know, I was always like, no, oh, I'm chunky, I'm sweaty, I'm gonna get an STD. <laughs> but now at 35, I'm like, yeah, I'm chunky, and I'm sweaty, and I can afford health insurance, so <laughs> let's do this. Thank you, guys. Okay, so that was the closer uh, from this uh, set here about uh, saying that when she was younger, uh, she was uh, insecure and nervous, and, but now she's older and she can afford health insurance, so she can be pretty wild now, uh, which is very funny um, to imagine. So she really, throughout the set, established that she's a fun, relatable person that you'd like to hang out with, which ended up being very successful for her because she has a big podcast now with her husband. And uh, just in the time it took for you guys to watch this video, uh, she made 1100 US dollars. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. This has uh, been an episode of Jokes Explained. I'm Miles Anderson. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see more like this in the future, please like and subscribe, and we'll be back again with more videos very soon.